This is the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, an attractive destination for mountain climbers. And this is Lhasa, capital of southwest China's Tibet Autonomous Region, the Sele City, one of the highest cities in the world. I came here in May, the best season for mountaineering. But my destination is not the top of the world. It's another special place. This time, we have come to the roof of the world, the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, with an average elevation of 4,500 meters. The Qinghai Tibet Plateau features imposing mountain range that harbor the world's highest peak, Mount Chumulama. And today, we'll explore the mysterious and splendid mountain range, the Himalaya and the Mount Chumulama in a museum. Sunchen Mountain Museum was founded in 2015. Its name means Five Mothers of Good Fortune and Long Life in Tibetan and refers to the five mountains of the Himalayas that attract many climbers, among which there is the world's highest mountain, Mount Chumolama. Nima Joma is the curator of the museum. She's also a young pioneer photographer focusing on Tibetan culture. Most of the exhibits here are from climbers or scientific researchers. It's their courage that make human approach and understand the land called the world's third pole. Now we are inside Sunqiao Mountain Museum and behind me were fossils of sea creatures. They were all found in the highest plateau of the world. So what's their story? So this is the uh, fossils that mm -hmm. we've collected in the um, Tingzhi area. Because you know, for mm -hmm. 40 million years ago, when the Himalaya region is still an ocean, yeah. um, there's many sea lives. Mm -hmm. And over the years, fossilized two stones that we found them in Tingzhi to prove mm -hmm. that Chomalama mm -hmm. wants to be an ocean. The formation of the Himalaya is a result of the most dramatic and visible creations of modern plate tectonic forces. The continental collision turned a vast ocean into the top of the earth. Nowadays, though regarded as a forbidden zone for life by human, the highest plateau still harbors the vitality of life. Now, what's the feature of the wildlife in its highest plateau? Let's have a look. I'm sure you're f very familiar yeah. with this animal, right? Yak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yak is one of the most representative um, animals in Tibet. The yak is a unique creature living on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. For thousands of years, yaks were essential to the survival of the people inhabiting here. They're also known as the boat of the plateau. They're the transportations for the mountain climbers to carry all the uh, heavy things, all the equipment. In the past two years, they've also helped to carry all the trash down from 6,000 above to, to the base camp, which is also doing a really great job for the environment. In tens of millions of years, the great change of the Himalaya reminds people of the vicissitudes of the earth. Though time flies and the environment keeps changing, life on the roof of the world will continue to survive stubbornly. 